What is going on everyone? So today I'm doing a reaction video on Fabian's Why I Live campaign with Muscle Tech. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it. First off, his physique is incredible. Wow, you can tell how much hard work he has put in his physique for sure. Just insane. Oh yeah, he's lifting at like a hardcore gym, the kind of gyms I love to work out in. Because we're taking over. Because we're taking over the, not just the fitness industry, we're taking over Vegas, we're taking over the world. I am young. Appreciate you. It's his mom, it looks like him. No, just trust me, just trust me. Okay, we get, uh, what's, what's this then? Okay, shut up, shut up. Okay, shut up, shut up. Whoa, there's big old eyeballs. <laughs> Cute kid. Amazing childhood. Like every time I think back on Germany, I just smile. So the farmers would come and chase us in their tractors. So he had like a childhood that I had. I was out in the country as well. I grew up in the country, lived about 30 minutes away from any kind of grocery store. Uh, and I loved it as a kid. Absolutely loved it. My mother, she she grew up pretty rough. I don't know much about her past. Um, I know that her mom committed suicide when she was very young and her father was very abusive so she ended up kind of bouncing around between families. Mm, that's terrible. But, I mean, from from every memory I have of her is, is amazing. She, whatever she could, she would do for me to make sure I have the most beautiful and memorable childhood she could create for anyone. Tan, a surfer, and there I am, this super pale kid from Germany with a hardcore accent that no one understood. and. So I just became that target for everyone. So mm -hmm. I'd go to school and I'd have apples thrown at me. Um, I'd have like 30 kids just calling me names and it just it just became very, very difficult. Um, but then she saw that my eye was bloodshot and she made me wash my face and she saw the eye and she took me to the emergency mm -hmm. room. That's terrible. Yeah, I mean, it's better now, but <laughs> so it sucked. It sucked. My first day after being back in school, I got home and I had a voicemail on my cell phone that said, we're going to kill you tomorrow. Mm. Um, and I, was I could not imagine. Could school. not imagine. So, that night, I didn't know what to do. I was in a lot of pain. And um, I had a ton of painkillers from that surgery. Um, so I took like 20 oxycodone. Mm and a ton of Tylenol, and I just smooshed it off and drank it. So that was my way out. <laughs> but it didn't work, obviously, you know, so... Right after I did it, I tried to fall asleep, but I got scared, so I called my mom. Mm. She ran in the room, she immediately knew I had done something bad. Because um, she could tell by my voice, because we just, we're just that close. And that's kind of what... what began the healing process for me, because it was kind of like, I hit the wall. Mm. And I told my mom. I'll pause it right there. Uh, that is a terribly sad story. Bullying in school, that's something that I've never had to deal with because uh, for me, I was homeschooled my whole life. And so I didn't have any kind of bullying uh, throughout my whole life. I didn't have anything. I uh, went from uh, middle school, high school, always homeschooled. So I didn't have that bullying aspect and I never had those feelings of suicide. I know a lot of people do and that's just terrible. But I'm so glad to see that he got through that. Uh, that is an incredible story. I was up in armor. I wanted to be a big bad motherfucker, you know? <laughs> so no one could hurt me again. He definitely did that. Definitely did that. It is, I take multivitamin. Um, just to start my day. I also start my day with clear muscle and um, L-carnitine to kind of fall out of that catabolic state. I do the exact same thing. Uh, the only thing I take differently in the mornings, I always take Amino Build uh, first thing in the morning to get my BCAs. I am when I wake up, so I'll run the treadmill, 20, 25 minutes of cardio, yep. even in the off season, because to me, cardio is not only to shred out, it's just a way for me to get focused, kind of rewind. Clear your head. Uh, yes, it usually consists of 10 egg whites um, and oatmeal. 
the amount of oatmeal varies depending on how I look. Uh, my second meal consists of chicken breast, and again, the amount varies depending on how I look. Mm -hmm. um, Pre-workout, I usually do some uh, nitrate whey with a banana, and I'll blend that up with some ice, and it kind of turns into this ice cream tasting smoothie, which is awesome. It's my happiness of the Sounds day. Sounds like he pretty much has um, my exact diet. Post-workout meal, again, chicken, rice, and veggies. Um, the meal after that, again, chicken and oats. And the final meal is usually... Very plain and boring, but hey, it works. The foods itself don't change for me because I like to always look in shape. I never really go crazy into the off season. Does the exact same um, thing I do. So like to stay right under 10% body fat year round. So that I have more carbs to get more energy at the gym and get heavier lifts in. Um, the fats go a little lower the closer I get to a competition. It really just varies mm -hmm. day by day yep. depending on how I look. Cycling no macros. And that just takes years and years, but that's bodybuilding. Bodybuilding takes years and years. Yes, it takes years and years, guys. People ask that all the time, how many years I've been working out, and I always tell them, 12 plus years to get this physique, and as you can tell from uh, Fabian's uh, video here, uh, it's taken him years to see his results and years of testing out diet, nutrition, supplements, and workouts to get to where he is today. Environment. Oh, so now he lives in Vegas. <laughs> I've been to Vegas one time, and it was extremely hot, but it was an exciting place. Went there for the Olympia, and it was incredible experience, but I don't think I could live there. Favorite part of Vegas is the heat. I love the desert heat. I don't really like Vegas so much in the winter, but in the summer when it's nice and hot, I love it. I, it gives me a lot of energy. It's, it's just, I love it. My bodybuilding journey started I think I he's just as big as his car. I did the exact same thing. That's how I got started. It was a bunch of friends in my home at my parents' house and I had a weight bench there and we all tried to see who could bench the most and how many reps you could do with a particular amount of weight. And that's really how I got started, just doing competitions with my best friends. Bodybuilding will always be a part of it. I mean, I might lose a leg one day, but I would find a way around that. It might not always be too complicated. That's true passion right there. Be in the gym and push myself. And I'm not doing it for anyone. I'm not doing it for Instagram or, or even you guys. I'm doing it for me because I love doing it. Mm -hmm. I think that finding your passion is what's going to help you overcome whatever obstacles are in front of you. And this is whether you're young or old. I believe that finding that thing that you were put on this earth for, that thing that just takes you away from reality for a minute or two. Mm -hmm. uh, it can be bodybuilding, it can be playing the violin, it can be anything. That, that one thing that just makes you, you. I think finding that and developing that further and further is what's gonna in turn build your self-confidence. And the more confident you are, the more likely it'll be that anything that comes in front of you will just be shattered. It's like nothing is done anyway. Wow, Fabian, that was an incredible story. Thank you so much for sharing. Uh, what a great video series that is. Just his whole life pretty much right there in just a 15 minute video. I hope to see more of why I lift from Muscle Tech later on. Thank you so much for watching guys.